Hello, salut, and adieu. It is January 2021, and I am the only passenger on a bus between the town of Montauban and the smaller town of Montèche in the southwest of France. And why am I going to a place called Montèche? Well, if you watched my last video, then you already know. But for anyone who didn't, we're looking for one of these. And what on earth is that? Well, we're about to find out, I hope. It's been abandoned for several years, and I don't even know for sure if it's still there. So, welcome to the hunt for the monster of Montesh. This is Montauban, about 50 kilometers north of Toulouse in the region of Occitanie. And it is, like apparently every random French town I turn up in, ridiculously beautiful. Or at least it would be if you could see it. It's famous as the birthplace of the neoclassical painter Ingres and the writer Olympe de Gouges, who rose to fame after the French Revolution when she pointed out that if they were serious about liberté and égalité, they should really apply it to slaves and women as well. It didn't seem fair that she had the right to be guillotined when she barely had the right to speak. The authorities agreed, but unfortunately, only with the bit about her having the right to be guillotined. Anyway, speaking of sudden cuts, we were on a bus to Montesh. Montèche lies on the Canal de Garonne, the canal that was built parallel to the River Garonne and which joins with the Canal du Midi in Toulouse to create a route all the way across France from the Atlantic to the Mediterranean. The town itself stands at the top of a gentle incline and from here there's a stretch of five descending locks over the next two kilometres during which your boat drops about 13 metres in total. So it's not quite the canal staircase that we saw before but it would still take over an hour to get through it all. And so in the early 1970s, an engineer called Jean Aubert came up with a better idea. And all he was gonna need, wait for it, was a giant 700 meter water slide and the insane monster vehicle from the last video. Unfortunately though, that vehicle doesn't exist yet. So here's one he made earlier. This was his first boat lifting vehicle and it worked on the same principle. In other words, whack enough power behind it and you can push water up a hill with a boat in it. And if you'd like to make one of these at home, you'll need two second-hand diesel railway locomotives, 16 tractor wheels and a couple of girders. Stick a water barrier on the front of it attached to a hydraulic arm and you've got the Monster of Montesh, one of the weirdest looking vehicles you are ever going to see. But unlike the later high-tech custom-made vehicle at Fonsehan, this one actually worked. It ran from 1974 to 2009. And to tell you more about that, here is Marcel, a random friendly passerby who stopped to ask if I was filming the water slope and then told me all about it. La pente d'eau partait de Montèche. Il y avait un bateau avec un restaurant. Il y avait des cars qui venaient. C'était 50 personnes. D'accord. Partait. Il allait sur plus haut, il tournait, il passait une écluse, et puis il revenait, et il descendait à midi à la pente d'eau. Là. Oui. La machine montait. Et là, une fois qu'elle était là-haut, la machine, le bouclier euh, se baissait. Oui. Un bouclier, tout. Alors il descendait là, tout doucement, les 700 mètres. Et, et là, quand il arrivait là, Il levait le bouclier, l'eau passe au passé là, il allait au bout là-bas, vous voyez au bout Oui. Tout à fait au bout là-bas. <rire> Et il reprenait les écluses en remontant, les quatre écluses. Ah cool Et la machine, quand elle était en mars, vous l'entendiez de, de oh, chez oui, vous oui. Ah, oui, ça peut être du bruit, hein, c'est <rire> sûr. Et 2000 chevaux qui se mettent en route. Bah, oui. Et c'était presque trois fois par semaine ça. Il y avait 50 de bonnes. Ah, oui. Et euh, moi, je l'ai fait trois fois, en famille, en, en, en tout. Tout le monde faisait son petit voyage. Now, on the last video, a few of you asked in the comments, how did they make the barrier watertight when it was moving up and down the slope? Well, the answer is, they didn't. It could never really be fully watertight and also able to move. So the barrier did leak a bit. But what they did was they would leave a trickle of water coming down through the locks at the top of the slope and then that would make up for the water that was being lost. 
Okay, let's go back to Marcel, who is now going to tell us what went wrong. Donc c'est le bateau qui a pris feu, c'est pas la machine, c'est le bateau... Non, le bateau qui était à l'entrée là-bas, à Montèche, au parc, où il y a tous les bateaux. Et automatiquement, le... il n'y a plus de restaurant. Oui. Et alors il n'y avait plus de navigation, puisqu'il ne passe que des petits bateaux. Alors la machine, elle est restée 10, 12 ans, arrêtée ici. On va voir l'histoire un peu de la pente d'eau, vite fait. Super, merci bien. And so, with no more work available for it, the monster of Montesch was left abandoned at the bottom of the slope, with its blue and white paint gradually peeling away. And to be honest, that's what I was expecting to find when I got here. But as you may have spotted, something's happening. It's moved. And now, it looks like this. Yep, the regional government has recently restored it and repainted it, and they've kind of ruined it. But this is France, where the only way you can get funding for a project is if you make it into some kind of artistic statement, and then you can get funding for anything. So what is happening here? Well, there's good news and bad news. Unfortunately, the monster isn't going to be working again anytime soon, but it is going to be the centerpiece of a new local heritage center. And when it opens, you'll be able to get up close and see inside Monsieur Aubert's magnificently mad machine. Of course, none of this explains why anyone thought that this was the way to get a boat up a slope. I've really enjoyed seeing all your comments coming in on the last video saying, why didn't he just use ropes or a chain or cogwheels or a counterweight? And the thing is, all of that applies here too. There's a hundred different ways to do it that would make more sense than what he actually did. And what blows my mind is that when he built the second one, he looked back at this one and thought, you know what the problem was? It wasn't complicated enough. But that's why I like this story. In all the history of over-engineering and over-complicating things, no one has ever pushed the boat out quite like Jean Aubert. If you'd like to visit the Monster of Montesch, it is a short 15-minute bus ride from Montauban, leaving five times a day from right outside the railway station. And I say bus, it's actually a very comfortable long-distance coach. The new museum is opening this summer and includes not just the canal locks and the water slope, but also the historic local paper mill. At the time of publishing this video, I don't have an exact date or any prices, but on the plus side, it does look like it's going to be fully wheelchair accessible. And that's about it from Montesh. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you soon.